Yo, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. The widget of the day is the text widget and specifically I'll show you how you can style it. Now I've got here in my main function running my app which is running my home page and that's just a stateless widget. And inside I've got a blank scaffold. Now in the middle, let's just create a text widget. And so by default, this is what it should look like. Now if you want to style this text, you can start writing style and create a text style. So inside here you can specify many things, but most commonly you would specify the font size. So we can make this a bit bigger. Also the font style. Now when it comes to the font style, you would mainly be using this if you want to italicize your text. And if you want to make it bold, you can specify the font weight. And of course you can also specify the color of the text. And one thing about these colors, if you hover over it, you can actually select the shade of the color. So if I make this 100, it'll be a very light green. And so on a very basic level, this is how you style a text widget. Now, if you want to set the default font for the entire app, you want to come back to the material app and specify this theme. Now, I'll make a separate video to cover the theme entirely because there's a lot to cover there. But just real quick, you can specify this text theme and choose body text and you can specify the text style that you want for the entire app so this way if i save this and i come back to my home page you can see the text widget has no styling but by default it will be what you specified in the theme okay awesome now let's say i have a few text widgets So if I say the second text widget font size 20 and the color pink, everything else, all the other settings like bold and being italics will still be there by default and it will only change the parts that you change. Now one cool thing that you can do is you can copy the text style and create a separate variable for this. So I'm just going to call it pink font because I think that summarizes what that text style is doing. And so in the style, in the text widget, you can just specify pink font. So it makes our UI part look very clean. Let's say I've got a third text widget. You can create a separate font for this one. So let's just change this around. Maybe let's call it green large font. So that's how you style text widgets. And hopefully that was helpful and easy to understand. If you have any questions, just let me know below. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!